Uh, David Dodge and Mike Slane here speaking. We are talking today about the importance of making offers. And we wanted to talk about that because I said, hey, Dave, give me a few minutes. I'll come back in there. We can record some more content. I got to make some offers. Let's do that. Yeah. And Dave said, <laughs> all right, don't even need to worry about doing the podcast. Let's make some offers. So that's what we did. Dave and I, I think we both try to make at least an offer a day. That keeps the uh, the debt collectors away. <laughs> I like that saying. That's <laughs> we, a good one. I mean, for real though, if we're if we're not making at least an offer to a day, it's just not. We're not. You're not even really trying. You're not mm-hmm. in the real estate game, uh, or the wholesaling game rather. So, uh, our offers are not that good. Um, so this one again, I didn't. I didn't even have really much property. I haven't viewed enough lately. So this one was a an MLS property that I went out and viewed. Uh, I'd say last week, and I just never got around to making an offer on it because uh, it just wasn't that interesting to me. Uh, it was a little bit small, was a little bit um, just just kind of a little bit funny. Uh, the price, uh, again, it was, it was close to retail. I think it looks like a newer uh, rehabber or possibly an old tired landlord did the rehab on it because it's got uh, old cabinets, but they put new carpet in. You know, so they're just trying to trying to squeeze as much as they can out of this property, and again, that just it just deterred me from even making an offer right away. So I did. I went ahead, and this thing's been sitting for about two weeks, which in this market is an eternity on the MLS. I would say uh, properties are just yeah, they get listed and they sell right away when they're priced right. So again, coming in with an offer seventy to 75% of what they're asking right now is, again, it's probably too high. I mean, I, I feel like I even possibly made the offer too high. Uh, so that's what I did. I, I Again, we have to make offers. So we need more properties for our crews, keep them working. We need, uh, yeah, we just need inventory. So the way to do that is to make offers. Uh, prior to this, I'd say, well, today's Monday. How many offers did we get out last week, Dave? Do you remember? I think we probably made, I don't know, about eight to ten. Yeah, I'd say somewhere in that range. And again, it's just we got to get our offers. It's not enough. No, yeah, we're way up. we're definitely pretty low. And that's something. So Dave and I always talk about too. If we notice that we in our business, if it slows down, it's for a couple of reasons. One, we're not marketing enough. Two. We're not making enough offers. You wrote a book on this, guys. Or three, we're not following up. That's right. Yeah. So we clearly, we know what our problem is right now. We're not making enough offers. Yes, the market is hot. But again, that is our fault that we're not busy uh, because we're not making enough offers. So that's, that's right. uh, pretty much the moral of the story today is make, make, make more offers. We've got a really cool tool. Uh, this is something that helps us make offers on all of our off-market ones. Dave actually put this together in our system and we use it constantly. You know what I'm talking about, Dave? Cash offer contract, baby. Cashoffercontract.com. So you can go to cashoffercontract.com and it's going to bring you over to our cash offer generator. Dave, you want to kind of briefly talk about that and how how that is helpful in making offers? Yeah, so right now it was supposed to work to where it would send from your email. And Mike, I actually need to fix this right now. So Uh it still generates offers. It just doesn't send them from yourself, but send them to yourself basically. So go to cashoffercontract.com and there's an offer generator in here. It's very similar to the one Mike and I use in our own business. Ours is built into doing some e-sign and like a couple other things built into the CRM itself that we use. But if you don't have all those tools and those those things at your disposal, you can still go generate an offer in about three minutes or less from your cell phone uh, using this tool. This tool will basically email the offer to you, and then from there you can take it and you can send it to your motivated seller. And it's really that easy, guys. Cashoffercontract.com. Um, I'm going to work on getting that thing fixed too so it can start sending from your email and perform the way that it really should Well, what's perform. really cool though yeah although it isn't perfect like you're telling people it's free it's free and it's fast so literally you could send the offer to yourself you know in two minutes then delete out that email and forward it on to your seller that's right uh it does not have like dave was saying doesn't have the signature capabilities in it again free product guys yeah it doesn't matter because really a lot of times whenever we're dealing with people 
they want to print it out anyway and go show it to yeah, a partner their, or their spouse, an attorney or, or yeah. whatever. So, you know, not it, that doesn't even really affect it that much, to be honest with you guys. But making offers is important, it, and that's really where the magic happens, right? You can do all the marketing in the world, and if you're not actually setting appointments and making offers to people, and there's really not even a right order. You can set an appointment, then make an offer, or you can make an offer, then go run the appointment if the offer works for them, right? Either way. But you have to start getting in the in the mindset and in the habit of making offers. We like to make offers verbally. We like to make offers in writing. We like to follow up on the offers that we make. I mean, you name it, we're in the business of making offers.